Good morning. Today, Les, Neil and myself uh, went down to South End's foreshore to look for South End's first pier. Well, we say first pier. It may, may not be the first pier. There were three small or two smaller jetties and one long jetty. Uh, the longer of the three ran directly alongside the current South End pier. Um, and that was there before this one was even built. And uh, bear in mind, South End Pier was actually, the construction on it was completed in 1935. So, uh, sorry, 1835. So um, the pier that was there before, slightly to the east side of the pier, was uh, somewhat older than that, but we don't know when it was made. But that's what I went down to find out today. Went down to see what was uh, there, if anything. So this is how we got on. All right, morning all. Back on the mile again. Uh, got to start the uh, session with the traditional 20p. 16 signal. Can't see it now. Lost it. Got to turn around. Turn it back to the wind. So. There's also an 18 uh, signal. Horrible 18 signal in there somewhere. Picking up my scoop in it. What a start. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, there it is. <laughs> 20p. It's not going to be a good day, is it? 20p. As I say, there's a horrible 18 signal there somewhere. Have a quick look. Oh, there's a 25 there. Oh. 19. Let's have a look what that is. Oh, oh my word, that's a nugget and a 5p. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that, that was a horrible signal. Oh <laughs> wow, well, okay, this could be a little coin spilt to start then. Oh, Penny. I think that's what's probably giving me the, uh, the horrible noise. Morning all. Just dug this one out. Looks like 20 feet of me. First coin of the day. Good stuff. I think this is it now. That's 20p. I got chatting to the, the tractor man. Uh, yeah. That's a little coin spill. That was an unexpected find, that nugget there. Well, second coin of the day, another 20p. About two foot away from the first hole. Still in good. Right, this morning we're heading off out there. Not out to the pier though this time, just to the strands. Uh, my brother-in-law did some uh, research and apparently there used to be three smaller piers that went out from out here and they were known as the strands so we're going to go and look for those today but in the meantime <coughs> I have a little pocket spill as you can see here 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 and here it's like four two peas there we go Right, this is those four two peas I just found here. And down there's where I found them. I must be going blind because if you look up on the sea wall here, there's another five. Oh. And another two. Paul Spee said, that's not a bad little pocket spill. You guessed it, another 20p. Gonna go for the record. At last, my first coin found using the metal detector is a 20 pence piece right under my usual little jetty. Right, well, Neil's turned up now, so there's now Les, Neil and myself down here. 
just biding our time at the moment, let the tide go out. It needs to go out past that shell bed that we normally cross when we go out to, to the pier. So we're just waiting for that and then we're gonna head off out there. But anyway, 20p. All right, well I found about 10, 20 p's up on the beach, got fed up with that. Uh, just come down onto the wet. There's a lot of sand being pulled off of the beach, laying on this area here. You can see it all just laying on, sort of had some pretty heavy winds yesterday. This was deep, uh, 19 signal, yeah, 19 signal, quite faint. Let's have a look what it is. Can't see anything on that whatsoever. Give that a little wash. It's like a half penny, I can see Britannia there. Is that a Victoria? Looks like a... Victoria actually, yeah. That's a great start. Well, a cracking 16 signal out on the wet. Another 20p. Ah, oh, thought that was going to be a good one. 20p. Well, I was beginning to think we weren't going to get a video out of this today. Um, been out here for just over an hour now. And all I found with the detector myself is a 20 pence piece. Everything else I found was that that little group of two peas that I showed you. But now, I have just found this fella. Gold ring. And I am, as you can see, on my way out to the strands, which is what we're doing today, which is out ahead of me there, it's the shell beds. But I've just found this, and this, it's bizarre, it's actually split. It's not very heavy, it's very light, but it's actually got a big split in it. But it's clearly got, if I can find it again. As you can see right there, it's clearly got the hall marks in it. I don't know where that's showing up on the uh, screen. It's clearly got the hall marks in it. My second gold ring of the year. Well, I wasn't expecting this either. What a day. Turn into the 11 signal. Actually, <laughs> on the surface, this, as you, I don't know if you can see, it's got about a couple of centimetres. Oh, I've lost it. Don't, don't lose another one. I think that's gold. <laughs> I've been so lucky recently in <laughs> finding. I don't know if that is or not, actually. It does look pretty good. I'm sure that's gold. I think I've found a ring near enough every time I've been out. Most of them have been uh, bling, but <laughs> it's still the thing of finding a ring. <laughs> Can't believe I said that. But yeah, I think that is gold. I don't know. Need to. I haven't got my. Uh, glasses on so I'll have a, have a look and let you know right yeah I've had a closer look it is uh, nine carat so yeah gold I'll have to do my gold dance <laughs> can't believe it excellent right out in the mud just found my first nugget of the day it's an old one come up about 21 it's quite warm sorry about the wind Oh, it looks like it's my turn. I don't know if the SD card's in there, the battery's gone. Oh, it's a little Sony Ericsson. Don't find too many of these. This is normally Les' department. No, mobile phone. Hi, well, this is a 29.30 signal. Let's with that scoop. It could be a bit of copper pipe. Well, that's looking rather ring-shaped. Yeah, I think that's probably silver then at that range. It's not looking like a copper pipe. Well, it is, but in silver. <laughs> yeah, it's not very... Not the greatest. It does look like a ring, I don't know. Probably silver plated by the look of that. 
brass or something. Yeah, that is all worn inside. Well, I've loved my first coin since I've been out here. Um, unfortunately, it's only a modern day 10 pence piece. And we always knew it was going to be slow out here on the foreshore this far out. We, I mean, we, when we go in, we normally get coins that close in, we normally get coins that far out, but we don't really get a massive amount in the middle. And uh, I've come up above the uh, the old original gutway now, down where Neil is down there. I don't know if you can see him, Neil's down there. Um, that is where the original gutway used to go from, apparently. And used to be three jetties coming out called Strands, according to my brother-in-law. One of them, the old chain pier, was very close to the pier, according to the research I did yesterday. It was between 50 and 100 feet away from the pier construction. So I'm concentrating on that for today. And uh, I've been walking along with nothing, just bits of old demolition rubbish. Um, I don't know if that's anything to do with it. But that 10p is my first coin. So uh, I'm going to keep going out to the gutway and work my way back a bit further out. And that's what I'm going to do this morning. I'm just going to go out and back, up and back, just working my way out away from the pier. So right, let's keep going. Well, this gave a really nice signal. Uh, and it looked pretty good. But it's a button. <laughs> yeah, it looked really good when I cleaned that top off. Well, well, apart from it being smooth. Right, I've just pulled my first pre-decimal coin out of this. Um, where I'm going, up the 100, 100 feet or so away from the edge of the pier. But I don't think I've got any chance of identifying this. It's really badly toasted. You never know, when I get home and put it under, a, I'll give it a clean. Something might come up, but it's not looking good. But anyway, it's the first pre-decimal coin, uh, about the size of a penny. Uh, there is something on there, but I can't quite see what it is. But anyway, first pre-decimal. Anybody lost a phone? <laughs> Don't think that'd be much cop now. It's a little brick, isn't it? Right, my next coin. Sorry about the wind here. It is very, very, very windy now. Next coin is a twenty pence piece. But I must admit, I did have to cheat. I actually went over to the west end side of the pier, the west side of the pier, to um, get that because I'm not getting anything this side. All right, let's keep going. Right, I've now achieved what I set out to do. Um, I'll just come over the west end side, uh, the west side of the uh, the pier, because I just wanted to get one decent coin. So I'm going to turn into the wind, so I won't be able to speak. But it is a Georgia sixth ship half penny. And that is exactly how it came out of the mud, or the dry, or the wet sand. There you go. George the sixth, ship half penny. Right, all right, well this 18 signal is really loud. I've messed my headphone volume up actually. I can't seem to get it right. Um, yeah, looking like a penny. Looks a bit warm actually, this one. Yeah, it's really warm. Oh, I'm not going to make that out on it. It looked like Britannia there. Oh, no. Why do I stand over the hole? Never learn, will I? <laughs> uh, well, it's a warm penny. Oh, this is a bit deep here, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> massive fish in here. <laughs> That's getting the life out of me. There's a massive fish. Huh? Oh, I was saying, look at the uh, condition of that beauty. Jesus. What's the date on that? Ship half penny? Ships. Yeah, Ship I got something else. Penny. Did you see my dance? I did. I should have filmed it, shouldn't I? Yeah, I'm going to show you why I danced. Funny. I can see also why it's come off. Ooh. Oh, what's that there? It's actually split. split. But it has a hallmark on it. Right. 
What's the number? Don't know, it's tiny, the hallmark. Uh, there, there's a hallmark there. Are you, what's that though? Is nine. that nine, the junk, isn't it? Nine carat. Nine carat? Yeah. Three, seven, five. Think that might be darker than yours. What number did yours come up as? Uh, th 13, I think. I bet it's nine carat. I've noticed now that nine carat seems to come up around 11 to 12. Yeah, so it's really cheaper now, so look, it's split. Yeah. yeah look. It might have been whacked or something, mightn't it? Never seen that before in a ring. Oh, I don't want to drop it over this. You know what I'm like, bloody. <laughs> what? I'm going to have to move over there. Huh? I'm going to move over there. If I drop it. Can I come over here? Yeah. What's that? I dropped a coin. I dug a coin, dropped it in the hole, couldn't bloody find it again. Oh, blimey, yeah. Yeah, nine carat, 375. Yeah? Yeah. 37.5%. Still some second gold of the year. Yeah. Oh, I did find another one, actually. Well, oh, another ring? Yeah. Bloody hell, you seem to find them I everywhere now, don't you? I can't stop finding them. They look, look good, though. Was well, it a junker? Well, I think it's silver plate. Yeah, junker. I think it's silver plate. Literally, I found that gold one. I thought it was a bit of copper piping. It ain't very good at all, but... It's definitely a ring, isn't it? Yeah, I was, I was still a bit doubtful if it was a ring, but I think it is. It's got silvery wash on it, isn't it? And uh, yeah, it doesn't look like it's been cut or anything. No, that's what I mean. It looked like a bit of copper to start with. It's a bit of a boring ring though, isn't it? It's, yeah, it's not. It's like an off-cut of pipe. Yeah. All right, this is a 15 signal. Stay. Yeah, 15 signal. Really toasted. Not going to get anything off of that one either. Right, well, my next coin is another rotten old pre-decimal penny. This one's got even less on it than the last one had. I don't know why here they're so bad and right next to the pier they're really good. It doesn't make any sense. I mean, the same kind of distance out, it's just we're away from the pier here. Anyway, that is my next coin. Pre-decimal penny of some kind or other. All right, well, this coming up as a 12, it started off as 11. Now, I'm not quite sure what that is. It's got quite thick along that edge there. Oh, out of shot. <laughs> quite thick along this edge here. Then at the top, looks like an earring to me. Right, my next find is a little baby, baby crotal bell. This is made of bronze. This isn't one of the modern ones. This is an old one. Yeah, this is an old one. Tiny, tiny little bell. Like a little crotal bell. This one's totally intact. That'll clean up really well. All right, let's keep going. It's just blown away. Oh my God. What am I doing? I think this is another token. I'm not sure. It really does. It does not the same as that last one. Or it could be the top of a an old beer can or something. I can't see what it says on there, but it's the same thickness, although it has got the same imprint, I think, on the back. Darren's here now, let's see what he says. I went on. So, Robin Hood. <laughs> Robin Hood. Robin Hood. <laughs> Robin Hood. Cider. Hang on. <laughs> I think it might have been one of I should have worked out when I said Tobin Hood. It's bloody Robin Hood, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah, look, Robin. I can't see that. The Hood. glasses on. And then it's got an O and it goes upside down. So it's Robin Hood. And I don't know what that... No, well, I thought it said Port Oh Port. Uh, I might have the top of a port bottle. Yeah. Port. That's where type. it's... Type. Oh, I don't know. Robin Hood port type it says on that side it says Robin Hood there right and then there it says you can see the type 
you can also see where it says oh, port. Oh yeah, I see. So. Yeah, port. No, no, port, port. 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 it looks like port to me. type or yeah. tire. Yes. Type. Yes, type. Oh. Robin Hood. It's a bit of rubbish. You know. <laughs> I thought it was good when I first saw it. Yes, yeah, I did. I thought it was another token. It's a bit of junk. Look it up. You can Google that. You'll probably yeah. find out what that is. I think that's off of a. Uh, it does look like a token, doesn't it? Top of a. As it's drying out, there, you can bomb. see it clearer. Yeah, so it's really shining up there. Yeah. All right, well, this looks an absolute beauty. 1920 signal. Look at the detail on that. That is incredible. Little sixpence. That is absolutely fantastic. That's uh, George the Sixth, I think that is. Just make that up. Yeah, the reverse side is lovely. Look at that detail. That is going to come up lovely. I don't think it's full silver, is it? Um, 43, I think that says. Yes, that's 50% that silver. So, oh, there goes my car park alarm. Better get a move on. Right, my next coin. George Fifth Penny. In not too bad condition this time, considering. Should get a date off of that one. I seem to have found a little hot spot here. I've had quite a few signals. I've had a little crotobell thing about 30, 40 feet behind me. I've had a few modern day pennies, two peas. A couple of bits, especially that anti aircraft uh, shrapnel. Getting quite a lot of that here as well. But anyway, George Fifth Penny. Well, I'm so glad I didn't leave this one. It was giving me a bit of, bit of a, a, a run around. Uh, couldn't, couldn't quite locate it and the numbers weren't really high. Uh, 26, 28 it was going up to. Uh, it's a George V and it's a florin. And that probably will be silver. Can't see the date on that, but <laughs> what a coin. That's probably going to be the last coin because uh, the car park alarm's gone off. Looks a bit damaged around the top there. And uh, yeah, I've got to get a move on here. Yeah, the yeah, others are right near the beach now, so I've got to get a, a move on. But yeah, what a good coin to probably finish on. Uh, yeah, so see you on the next one. Right, well, this will be the last, the last hole of a session. There's Neil there, unless it's racing back to the cars. We've got literally 15 minutes to get back to the cars. And I've just had a 10 pence piece. Modern day, nothing special. Well, that's it, so uh, well, we'll see you on the roundup. Well, well, that turned out a lot better than I thought it would. Uh, very slow up on the dry sand because we had to do a little bit of that because the tide wasn't out. So we did a little bit of dry sand and then we headed off out and uh, I walked along the route of where I thought the old original pier would have been. Some people call it the chain pier. Uh, it was uh, constructed of wood. It had a steam hoist or a steam... Um, it used to have a big cable that used to run along it and they used to pull uh, little trailer things along it, uh, unloading barges. And that was steam powered. And there, we did find quite a lot of cabling down there today, even though I don't think we filmed any, but there's quite a lot of cabling all the way along that pier. So, um, and my second gold ring, Les had another gold ring and Les had another silver ring. Uh, nice little sixpence and whatever. So yeah, all in all, we all had a good day. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, right, we've got no plans to go out again now for the, uh, in the near future. Obviously, we will come up with an idea to do something. I don't know what yet. Uh, I've only got tomorrow off left now, and then I'll, I'm back at work. So um, I'm sure we'll, me and Les will discuss something, and we'll uh, figure out where to go next. So until then, bye-bye for now.